Over the last several years, Twitter has become a hotbed of criticism because it seems like the platform unjustly targets certain political groups, certain identities, and tries to get us removed while other people don't have to follow the same rules. It really does follow party line, and it's been obvious. And Elon Musk has been making some stirs which are very interesting, which we'll talk about today on this. My name is John Delabrose. I am a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator. I had a 6,000 follower plus Twitter account, which got banned last year because uh, somebody was actually attacking me. They libeled me racist. And I call, I went back and I said, you're the racist whitey. And he reported me for hate speech, even though the person was coming on my thread just to attack me and just to try to gotcha me. Well, I've been trying to sell my books anyway. It's been tough, of course, as I'm getting deplatformed everywhere by these evil corporations who just want to push politics. You know, it seems to get worse when it gets closer to election time, which it does now. Just been banned from Indiegogo and Patreon this week. Uh, for no reason. They have not given me a good reason about it, and it's just awful. Uh, So I hope this is a step towards decentralizing the internet, getting things back to where it goes. My name, and I've got my books on Amazon. I've got my books in my own personal shop if you want to get direct from me. This is my best-selling series uh, for uh, The Adventures of Baron Von Von Monocle. I can talk today. John Della Rose, talk pretty one day. And... (laughs) It's uh, available all over, so if you want to check that out, I'd appreciate it. It supports the channel, and it's great. All right. This morning, Elon Musk bought 9.2% of Twitter, nearly $3 billion of Twitter stock. Of course, the stock jumped like crazy because of this, and it shook the markets uh, because this is a very odd thing. He's been going off lately about free speech and whether Twitter allows enough free speech on the platform, whether it actually holds true to the ideals in which it pretends it does. And a lot of his followers, of course, came back and said, no, Twitter's a, Twitter's awful. It's one of the worst out there because of this. They don't hold the standards. They harass people over their politics. And something needs to change. Now, is Elon Musk going to change things? I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, we've got some comments uh, from Wedbush, I don't know who this is, saying this is just the ac- appetizer because this is technically a passive stake. Ultimately, we believe he will have an active stake over the coming weeks or months. This is just the start. I think he will have a broader strategic focus on Twitter, whether it's changing the slate, changing management team, or ultimately a buyout. This is interesting. If that actually occurs, Elon Musk really has signaled to some degree that he's partially right wing. He definitely is a capitalist and I don't know. He's a weird dude, (laughs) but it's very different than the current regime, this current control regime that's on the complete leftist side that is trying to silence people, that is trying to silence opinions, that is trying to force wokeness down everybody's throats. And it's a good thing that is changing. Now, Jack, the original founder of Twitter, actually made a comment this morning, which was very interesting. And it, to me, shows that the tide is turning among the some of the elites who are thinking about what they've done over the last 20 years and how they've divided and destroyed our society, really, uh, in the name of their political agendas. He talks about how Twitter ultimately did that. And here we are. He talks about the days of Usenet, IRC, the web, even email were amazing. Centralizing discovery and identity into corporations really damaged the internet. I realize I'm partially to blame and regret it. It's really true. Back in the day, Usenet, IRC, you could just have opinions. You could just talk. You could go back and forth. People were all over. Nothing was just on one platform. Once Facebook came about, that's when things really started to change. Everybody just jumped on there. It became the spot where everybody had to talk. Uh, I remember you used to have message boards for different topics on different websites. They were all not under one person's control. They were just things that people could talk about. But now you pretty much, once Facebook got going, you had to be in Facebook groups in order to have messages because those old message boards on individual sites died. Facebook manipulated algorithms through Google, another giant corporation, to where everything just directed to there. And now Twitter has pretty much become the place where everybody can talk back and forth, sell their products, etc. And this is the same thing over the last 20 years. Jack understands that it is better to have something decentralized. I try my best to be as decentralized as possible because I never know whether one of these platforms is going to target me and ban me for no reason or not. Because I have a lot of haters, I have weird stalkers out there who just sit through all day, every day, and just report 
everything I do. It's very bizarre. And these corporations actually encourage that kind of behavior. They encourage people to do that and to fall, file false flag reports on creators like myself because they don't really want free speech at the end of the day. We'll see if this starts to change. I would love to see a change in Twitter. I'd love to see a change, honestly, even in YouTube to make it freer, to make it so that one political opinion's not the important thing out there. They've tried to cite and deem everything that they don't agree with as misinformation these days, and it's not. It's just people's opinions that they don't agree with. I want those opinions to be safe. What about you? Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Will Elon actually make a change? Or is it going to be more of the same? Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.